Welcome or welcome back on I Need Help at C-Square. In this example, we have an isosceles trapezoid, right? Look at that. These two segments, which are the bases, are parallel, and these two segments, which are the legs, are congruent. And that makes this guy an isosceles trapezoid. And what is a property, one of the properties for this isosceles trapezoid? The base angles are congruent. The base angles are this, angle A congruent with angle D, Angle B congruent with angle C. So that, those are the property. Angle A congruent to angle D, base angle. Angle B congruent to angle C. So how can I use this to solve this problem? First of all, I'm going to start with this thing. All right? That means the measure of angle B equals the measure of angle C. So the measure of angle B, which is angle 3, right, will be 107. That's it. Very simple, right? Well, what about angle 2 and angle 1? Let's take a look to angle 1. Another property for not only for isosceles trapezoid, but for a trapezoid, is that uh, consecutive angles, not all the consecutive angles, are uh, supplementary. In fact, one more. Let's take a look. These two lines are parallel. So these angles and these angles are same sign integer angle, consecutive angles. The measure of angle C or the measure of angle D is 180. That's the property. Supplementary. So in other words, 107 plus the measure of angle 1 is 180. So the measure of angle 1 is going to be what? 180 minus 107. That will be 73 degrees. Right? And the measure of angle 2, right? Ang the angle 2 is angle A. It's going to be also 73 degrees. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.